So today I just want to go through uh, caustics in Cinema 4D, just a brief introduction. So I'm just going to start by creating a very simple scene in Cinema 4D. So first I'm going to create a floor object and then just a sphere and I'm going to move this uh, sphere up to the floor like that. And I'm going to apply a material to the sphere and for the floor object I'm going to apply another material. I'm going to double click the floor object material and go to color then add texture um, you can't see it because it's off the screen but I'm going to go to surfaces checkerboard like that and then on the sphere material I'm just going to check um, transparency and then make it 90% uh, so it's slightly opaque and then the refraction I'm going to give it 1.4 like that and I'm just going to render this just to check what it looks like. The floor checkerboard material, I'm just going to click it and make the tiles 0.5 by 0.5, just a little bit bigger like that. Now I'm just going to create a light, just a simple omni to begin with, just put it there. And now the thing to remember is there is a three separate caustics uh, settings panels. One of them is on the material here. So if I go to the illumination tab, there's a generate caustics and receive caustics. So we've got these settings on the material itself. We've got caustics in the light here. And if you go to render settings, we can actually right click and add caustics. So we've got the render settings here as well. So that's uh, three separate panels to remember. Now, uh, the most important settings are probably the light settings, I'd say. First, I'm just going to um, go back to my floor material, check a board, and just make this white uh, segment kind of dark grey. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to go to my light, caustics, and check surface caustics. Now, the trick is to use loads and loads of photons, basically. It gives you a default setting of 10,000, but this isn't enough. So if we just render this now, nothing. Well, you can see some slight uh, photons here. So I'm going to increase the energy to 200% and the photons to 100,000 and see what happens. Now we're beginning to see something. It's very slight, so I'm just going to keep um, increasing them. It's basically a game of balance. Um, so 300, and let's try 500,000. And as you can see now, it's getting much slower. Now, I'm just going to go to the material, and here, I'm basically going to max out the samples here to 10,000, which is the upper limit. And I'm actually going to go to uh, the Generate Caustic Strength setting and set that to 200% and render again. And we can see the light beginning to uh, appear now, the, caustics, uh, the caustic effect. And it does take a lot of photons and a lot of energy before you begin to see something, basically. So um, I'm going to go back to my light setting and just increase this to 600 and the photons to 800,000. So that's beginning to uh, take shape. Now, I'm not sure if I like this uh, kind of really bright bit inside of the sphere, and I believe that's to do with the material setting. So I'm actually going to reduce this down to 100%, reduce the radius down to 5 centimeters, and then I'm going to go to my render settings, and I'm going to adjust the kind of increase the strength here to 500%. And that's kind of the shadows looking a lot better, but um, I'm not sure if I like that. Maybe it's to do with the light placement, so I can just uh, put this light maybe further away. And I'm actually going to make the material a bit more transparent. Say 95%. And another thing you can do is you can just hit Alt-R to bring up the interactive renderer 
and that way we can make uh, changes and view them in uh, near real time pretty quickly so I mean that's pretty fast and as you can see I've got got rid of that horrible uh, glow that's because the light was basically too close so the positioning of the light is very important as well so I'm just gonna move this to the side a bit like that and let's just play with some of the render settings so let's try 1000 strength that's getting brighter let's try 5000 percent now now this here is pretty much what uh, I'm kind of looking for about this brightness so it, it took basically 5000 percent before we could even get there that's pretty crazy now I'm gonna go to my light and under shadow I'm just gonna give it a quick uh, maybe ray trace shadow I'm basically going to just cut the video to jump ahead so you get your previews pretty much instantly when you're watching the video. I think it's quite uh, useful to learn that way, just watching the kind of changes instantly. So this effect looking pretty good. I don't like this glow here again, it's getting too strong so I'm going to push the light further away. I'm going to push it all the way out, far, far away. That's a bit better. Now you'll notice these circles are getting kind of big, and the secret to getting secret to getting rid of these is basically um, it takes a long time, but just increase the photons. So eight hundred thousand. I pushed this up to uh, ten million at work, and that's like the upper limit. You can't go beyond that. And because my work computer is a double Xeon, it actually handled it pretty quick. The render time was um, under five minutes, pretty much. But this whole machine, I'm just going to play it safe and just go up to 1 million. Okay, hasn't made a huge difference. So I'm just going to keep bumping up the energy and the number of photons. And let's see where we can get to. I'm going to try 1 centimeter on the material, see what that does. Ah, and this is a good demonstration of what the caustic setting, settings in the material do. See these dots? That's basically the material caustics. This is the light caustics here, and this is the material caustics. So it's good to kind of understand the separation between these two. So right now I put the radius to one, and we can see these circles kind of get much smaller. And if I bump it to 0.1, now they're very, very kind of small points of light, which doesn't look very realistic. So I think uh, maybe three could be a good setting. Let's have a look. Yeah, and now it's kind of looking more like a band. So I'm just going to try five. Let's see what happens with five. And now it's kind of nicer, more kind of blurred. So yeah, and for some reason the upper limit here is 10,000. I don't know why, but it's just uh, that way. And if I just reduce the strength of the material caustics, let's see what happens. Oh, it's actually affected here as well. That's very strange. But um, give it maybe 88. Yeah, so basically you should probably just leave this here at 100. And um, I'm gonna go back to the light settings. And actually my render settings, all I can really play with here is the strength. So I might just drop this down to 1000 in the render settings. Uh, set recompute to always. Just to make sure that it's always recalculating. Yeah, see that gives a much more uh, different result. So just make sure that's uh, recompute set to always. Otherwise, it's like using the cache or something. I don't know. So back to the light settings. I'm just going to play with these two here. We're at 1,900,000 energy. I'm going to bump this energy up to uh, 1,200. Hardly any difference. Uh, photons, let's bump that up to 10 million. We're going to take a chance. Now that's a calculation with uh, 10 million photons and as you can see it's very smooth, very cool. All I need to do now is just bump up to a, uh, just bump up the energy a bit more. 2200. And that's a bit brighter so I'm actually going to go back to my render settings and just bump it up here to uh, say 5000. You really need to go up to some real high values before you can see anything. 
And finally, there we go. So I basically got energy 2200 with 10 million photons on the light before I could reach uh, an effect I'm pretty much looking for, which is this. As you can see, we've got some nice detail. There's no like large circles or anything. We've got some nice kind of wispy lines, which is what we're looking for. Uh, the render settings, the strength was set to 5,000%. And in the illumination uh, tab of the material, I've got just 100%. Samples maxed out at 10,000 and a radius of 5 centimeters, which is pretty much, uh, I believe, linked to the radius of the sphere. So you're looking for like a 20%, um, sorry, 120th value for the radius here, roughly. So uh, yeah, the secret to caustics is basically lots and lots of photons and high energies. So I hope that gave you a kind of general insight into uh, caustics in Cinema 4D and uh, thanks for watching.